Zero. Ignition. Lift off. And lift off of the 22nd SpaceX cargo resupply mission, bringing new solar arrays to the International Space Station. Stage one propulsion is nominal. There she goes. So she's burying. And then my favorite part is when the tent, she's kind of blowing the sand away, but then my favorite part is when she gets the tentacles. Thomas, Joe, and Jonathan. Thank you so much for joining us here. This project's all about trying to understand how the effects of microgravity is impacting how beneficial microbes and animals talk to each other. And we chose the squid. Uh, we're sending these tiny uh, squid into space to understand how the bacteria are actually colonizing and initiating a conversation at the molecular level with these animals. We all have microbes that are helping our bodies uh, with our digestive system, with our immune systems. Microbes are essential for our health, animal health. And so what we don't really understand, the full mechanisms of communication, the dialogue that's happening uh, between microbes and animal cells. And we know even less when we're in the space environment. So we want to really, this project's all about trying to understand how the space environment, the stress of being in space, is uh, impacting the normal, beneficial, healthy interactions that happen between microbes and their animal hosts. Squid have almost similar immune systems as we do, humans do. They're simpler and the associations or the interactions with their bacteria are also simpler. So instead of the thousands of different types of microbes that are interact with humans, in squid there's just one bacterium and one host. So that really makes it easier to understand how the two partners are talking to each other. And so we can put the partners together or we can take them apart. And that's something we can't quite do with humans. So it really makes a nice, simpler, easier model system to understand the impact of spaceflight on, on animal tissues, including humans. One of the things that happens to astronauts when they're in space 
is that their immune systems can become compromised or dysregulated. And so that could be really potentially dangerous um, when you can't go to a doctor immediately or you can't get help. So we really want to understand that impact of, of long duration space flight on animal health like the immune system. And the squid gives us that model, that mechanism to study those kinds of long-term questions. Separation confirmed. In back ignition. Stage one boost back startup.